Good Saturday afternoon, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onna, keeping you updated with what's going on with the weather across the Mid-South area. Please remember to keep it tuned to News Channel 3. This is a netcast recording, and again, with the time frame you see down here at the bottom of your screen, please check in and be updated as to what's going on in the Mid-South with News Channel 3 on our social media apps and or online or on air with News Channel 3 as we look for, again, more potential of severe weather out there. Now, as of about 20 past four on Saturday afternoon. Most of the warnings are down to our south at this time as we see again some more intense thunderstorms moving into the metro area and also across portions of northern Mississippi. We've had no indication of anything involving severe weather as of again this time frame, but that could be changing into the next several hours as we look for again the potential for a lot more areas of showers and thunderstorms out there. We're also watching again for the potential of hail and the possibility of again some damaging winds and we cannot rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes either so definitely want to keep it tuned to news channel three for the latest on that temperatures across the mid south just past four o'clock it's been cool out there thanks to the clouds and the rainfall so we're not seeing again a lot of major amounts of problems out across the area with temperatures Going to be on the cool side tonight, but then warming up by just a bit into the rest of the evening. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. The storm system that again is crossing the country out of the Rockies and into the Plain States is going to be making its way across the Mid-South later on tonight into overnight and then leaving the area as we head into tomorrow. In between here and there, we've got that potential as that storm system heads on out of giving us again some more problems where it comes to severe weather as we go into later on tonight. But as it clears out by tomorrow morning, that should do it for the potential of anything involving showers and thunderstorms. Now, the Storm Prediction Center, again, does give most of the Mid-South area a either slight or an enhanced risk for severe weather into this evening. The main target zone, the best possibility of severe weather is going to be in that area you see down to our southwest. That's a moderate threat and that is something again that you usually don't see again unless you get the more vigorous systems moving on through here. So for right now the potential for severe weather is a little bit more limited than what we usually see at this time frame but again we can very easily especially if you live in areas around say Tupelo, Oxford, Clark's Dale, uh, Batesville, Bates, uh, Batesville into around uh, Helena, West Helena, Water Valley, Bruce, in those locations. That'll be the prime target area for anything involving severe weather into later on this evening. Now, through tomorrow, the threat again leaves the Mid South area and will not be a problem for us past about, say, roughly midnight tonight. Although, in between here and there, we've got a lot to watch out for and the potential for severe weather on Monday, tax day gone and not going to be a problem across much of the Mid-South. So for the rest of the evening, here's what it looks like for tonight. Temperatures will actually be rising a little bit, and we are also going to be watching for the potential of some very breezy winds out there. It could be gusting around 40 miles per hour, and we also see that chance of showers and thunderstorms that will be going right on in throughout the rest of the evening. Temperatures again continue back in the lower 60s out there, which again is not bad for this time of the year. But again, we're going to see some cooler conditions out there. And if you are going any place, definitely want to take the umbrella with you and allow for some extra time on the roadways as conditions out there may be a little bit on the sloppy side. Now, again, as of this time frame for tonight, we do not have anything in the way of severe weather listed for the Mid-South. We have a tornado watch just south of us, and that goes right up to south of Coahoma County in Mississippi. And that watch is in effect until 9 o'clock for tonight. But again, for the rest of the evening, we could see some more severe thunderstorm watches or tornado watches issued just north of the area into the Mid-South. And that, again, could be causing some problems as we get into the evening hours. Know where your safe place is. Have multiple ways of getting severe weather information. Don't just rely on tornado sirens. Again, get an app that pushes severe weather to your phone or tablet. And again, get a weather radio going with fresh batteries or charged in. And of course, most importantly, keep it tuned to the weather experts and we'll keep you updated as to what may be going on in and around the Mid-South area. We'll have updates following the conclusion of the Masters on CBS Sports coming up a little bit later on this evening. 
And of course, as necessary, we will break in with regular weather updates should weather turn severe in the Mid-South. So definitely want to stay tuned for that. Be weather aware as we go into later on tonight and have a safe place ready to go just in case you need it. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening.